Hey there guys, so today we celebrate Godzilla, the big G, the main man, clinched an Oscar last night for the best visual effects. This is so exciting for kaiju fans all around the world. We're going to be diving into everything that happened at the Oscars regarding Godzilla Minus One. We're going to be taking a look at the footage and the acceptance speeches from the crew behind the movie. So guys, if you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the movie and streaming news we have going on on this channel. And with that down, we're going to be diving into all this Godzilla goodness and taking a look at what happened at the Oscars last night. So this article comes to us from comicflicknews.com. Franchise history was made. Godzilla minus one wins first Oscar. So at the Academy Awards, Godzilla minus one has just achieved a historic milestone. At the recent Academy Awards ceremony, which obviously took place last night, Godzilla Minus One stole the spotlight by clinching an Oscar, marking a significant milestone for the iconic monster franchise. Nominated for Best Visual Effects, this achievement not only marked the first ever nomination for a Godzilla film, but also secured its place in cinematic history as the first to win an Oscar. So yeah guys, this win can't be understated just how important it is to kaiju fans around the world this franchise started in 1954 and has never won an Oscar in its entire 70 year run. And the fact that now it has won an Oscar at the Academy Awards, maybe people will take these kaiju movies a bit more seriously. But I'm so happy. I'm so thrilled. You know, I celebrate with the team behind this movie. They did a fantastic job given the budget that they had. And um, Godzilla just looks absolutely incredible. But guys, what we're going to do next, we're going to take a look at the initial reaction footage and then we're going to go on and have a look at the actual acceptance speech of the cast and crew for the Oscar of Godzilla Minus One. So from discussing film here, we have the reaction of Godzilla Minus One team when they won the Oscar. So let's check out this footage. Yeah. It's only a few seconds long, but it's so, so glorious to see that. Let's take a second look at that footage once again. The one thing that I really, really love about this footage of the cast and crew from the movie, they're all holding these like mini Godzilla figures. <laughs> it's like, it's really, really cool. It's making me want to get one like so bad. But yeah, it's great to see their initial reaction. It's just absolutely fantastic. Just fills me with joy to see them you know, all their hard work finally pay off. And to see Godzilla at the top, you know, of the cinematic kind of gloriness of uh, winning an Oscar. And it's just fantastic. Um, can't get over just how, you know, how great this is. So the film's victory was well-deserved with critics and audiences alike praising its groundbreaking visual effects and captivating storyline. Many fans have celebrated the win considering it's a testament to the film's undeniable impact. Absolutely, the praise, the hype, everything about this movie was just crazy, crazy and off the scale. So for those who missed it, catch a glimpse of the acceptance speech from the filmmakers below. So guys, we're going to go on and we're going to take a look at the actual acceptance speech of the cast and crew for the Oscar of Best Visual Effects. So let's jump straight into that footage in three, two, one. Here up. And the Oscar goes to... There we go. This is... Uh... Godzilla. This is the first Oscar win and nomination for the visual effects team from Godzilla Minus One. My career began 40 years ago after the shock of seeing Star Wars and close encounters of the third kind. Uh, to someone 
uh, so far from Hollywood, even the possibility of standing on this stage uh, seemed out of reach. Uh, the moment we are nominated, we felt like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> <laughs> Welcomed into the ring as equals by as by our biggest rivals, which was already uh, Miyako. But shall we stand? <laughs> <laughs> To, to all the black artists outside, outside Hollywood, Hollywood was listening and this award is proof that everyone uh, has a chance. Uh, <laughs> finally, uh, on, finally, on behalf of the cast and crew of Godzilla Minus One, I want to tell our pre uh, Producer Shuji Abe, who, who, who we lost too soon, uh, we did it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love that acceptance speech so, so much. The director, Takashi Yamazaki, is standing up in front of the entire world, trying to read English from a piece of paper, in front of the entire Academy audience, in front of live cameras, and obviously he's really struggling. It's like a fish out of water. And um, the fact that he's trying to read English in front of everybody, and, you know, he's just, he's there, he's trying to read it off that bit of paper, and it's just fantastic that he's there, and he's trying to do that in front of everybody. The confidence that must take but let's not distract from the actual story of him winning you know best visual effects not just him but his entire team could not be more happy i know i keep gushing about this guys but for godzilla the first in its entire franchise history to win this award is absolutely incredible let's hope that godzilla goes on in the future to win even more oscars if Takashi Yamazaki goes on to make a sequel or a follow-up movie, let's hope that he can secure another Oscar. So Godzilla Minus One defies the odds with Oscar win for the VFX on a modest budget. Yeah, this is the thing. The movie basically um, just embarrassed Hollywood. It had such a small budget for the movie that it was trying to make, $15 million or less. And the fact that it went on to win a visual effects Oscar against movies that had a budget of, you know, like $200 million was absolutely insane. And it just goes even further to securing how amazing this award, you know, win really was. In a stunning upset at the Oscars, Godzilla Minus One clinched the coveted award for visual effects despite operating on a shoestring budget compared to its VFX heavy competitors. Yeah, movies like... Um, you know, movies like Mission Impossible that cost, you know, 150, 200 million. And then this Godzilla minus one, 15 million or less. And it beats it on visual effects. Just incredible story. It's an absolutely incredible story. Director Takashi Yamazaki, known for his resourcefulness, revealed that the film was made for even reported $15 million or less. Uh, revealed that the film was made for a uh, reported $15 million, sorry, or possibly even less. What's even more remarkable is that Takashi Yamazaki himself served as a VFX supervisor, contributing to significant cost savings. The thing that's funny about this franchise is that, you know, on the other side of the Godzilla franchise, you know, the MonsterVerse, the very first Godzilla movie in 2014, Gareth Edwards, who directed that, he was also a visual effects, um, he comes from a visual effects background as well. And it's funny that Takashi Yamazaki also comes from a visual effects background as well. So they're both, you know, visual effects, um, you know, heavy people that, you know, worked on Godzilla 2014 from the MonsterVerse and who worked on Godzilla Minus One. So that's just a bit of knowledge there, which is quite fun. So the film's visually striking effects achieved on a fraction of a budget, typically seen in Hollywood blockbusters, underscore the ingenuity and talent of the filmmaking team. Hollywood no longer has an excuse to make these kind of movies for several hundreds of millions of dollars when it can be shown to be made on this kind of a small budget. They have no, you know, there's no more excuse to spend, you know, $200 million on a Godzilla movie. While the win may come as a surprise to some, given the movie's modest financial backing, it's an outstanding visuals that make it deserving a uh, recipient of the Oscar. Absolutely. You know, I, I said in my review of the movie that in some situations, in some scenes, when the light hits Godzilla in certain angles, 
the the cgi can look a bit weird but um on a 15 million dollar budget it's absolutely um acceptable that in some some situations it's going to look a bit strange but overall the visual effects was absolutely incredible so godzilla minus one triumph serves as a reminder that creativity and dedication can produce exceptional results even in the face of budgetary constraints congratulations to the team for this well-earned recognition absolutely today is going to be known as godzilla day 11th of march 2024 going to be celebrating all day with godzilla content i'm going to go back and watch the original 1954 godzilla today in celebration of this award so uh we have a twitter post here from the actual academy themselves congratulations to the team behind godzilla minus one this year's special uh this year's best visual effects winner godzilla minus one takashi yamazaki and other people who i can't pronounce but yeah so yeah like i say hollywood no longer has an excuse to be spending hundreds of millions of dollars on these kinds of movie on these kind of movies sorry when takashi yamazaki comes out of nowhere makes one for 15 million dollars and wins an oscar and uh it's just absolutely incredible this story is going to go down in cinematic history as one of the craziest and amazing oscar wins beating out movies with 10 times the budget could not be more happy it's time to celebrate today like i said is godzilla day but guys jump into the comment section let me know what you think about this um you know what do you think about the acceptance speech what do you think about godzilla minus one winning the award was it deserved was it not deserved let me know all your thoughts comments and opinions i can't wait to hear what you have to say thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon